now on paintballwebcast.com. This is not a car, guys. Stay tuned to see what the Millennium Series has got me doing next. With over 10 million participants, paintball has taken over one of the top spots for an extreme sport after skateboarding and inline skating. Now played on over 104 countries across the globe, paintball has become an over $500 million industry with more than 5 million paintball players and tons of new participants playing every day. PaintballWebcast.com selected some of the sport's most amazing professionals in the paintball community to review the attitude and character that is inspiring this amazing sport. I'm Shelly Farmer. Hey, what's up, everyone? Steve Rappacoff here with uh, Paintball Webcast. Hey, guys. Nick Slag here. I'll be one of your commentators and analysts for Paintball Webcast. My name is Maurice Vandenacre. And straight into the game. As we see, we're looking onto the split screen breakout. Admin Impact against Marco Versal. So the Dynasty against the Impact players. <laughs> a little bit away. <laughs> yeah. But it looks like uh, Impact already have Snake 3, and Polar Bears are choosing to double up the Temple, which didn't work for them. I, did, I don't think that will work much this weekend. If you double up and the opposing team gets the width on you, you're not going to survive. So Polar Bears have lost the player already, and so is Emerson Impact. And I do think that for now, uh, Itman Impact is doing uh, well. Just be looking onto the Polar Bears, uh, going into Snake 1, trying to shoot to get a cross shot, and trying to even out the bodies. But for now, well, it's pretty equaled out. Nobody's taking any risks, first point, so uh, they're trying to judge each other, seeing where, uh, are the, where the weaknesses are. And for now, there are no weaknesses. Justin Cornell staying alive there in Snake One, and he has to. I mean, he's talking it up because he's got no many, not many shots on. Stay alive with the. Uh, you can hear the calls from here. I don't yeah. know if you can on the on your live uh, feed, but the very loud um, polar bears coach. So that's Polar Bear Snake Corner Snake 1. So they've chosen to be dominant Snake side as they've lost their Dorito sides. Well, again, uh, I've been impact drunk first blood, but then losing a player off, uh, off the Dorito side, and now it's pretty equal out. So, and of course, you've got the most patient person in the world sitting on that field, which is Oliver Lang. You can wait it out and yeah. for a long time. Well, with all that meditating you can do, you can probably <laughs> hold out even longer. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll start levitate above the field if you don't yeah, watch that. Yeah, I think that's guy. what he's trying to achieve. Yeah. You can just levitate above those bunkers. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, Polar Bears, it's all, I mean, it's a long point here. It's the longest point we've had already this morning. True. But two teams, and they look, well, pretty much equaled up. But I think Impact is very good at, you know, sitting down and just shooting their lanes mm -hmm. and being very disciplined. And that's how you recognize a real, well, a, a good team and a very good team. A very good team can sit down, and as you look, he's hugging his bunker there, not moving a lot. And I think Polar Bears for now have, have the angles. It looks like yeah, they have. You're right, Maurice. I mean, both these teams, uh, professional teams, um, neither team got the advantage off the break. So when you, neither team gets the advantage of the break, they have to make it work during the game. And this comes down to the training ground, talking it up, um, making those first shots count. Polar Bears are now pushed to Dorito 3. They do have the upper hand over Edmonton Impact. And Snake 1 looking to push, but knows Cornell's in Snake 2. And trying to communicate. Rabakov's in behind him in Snake 1, showing a cross field. But Cornell knows his job is to make sure he shoots the tape, the line. 
Oh, and an impact player oh, getting shot. So yeah, so you're right. Um, impact lose their Dorito side completely as polar bears dominate. Dorito and side. It's the sneaky move. You can't see on your screens. It's the sneaky move. Is that Ryan Greenspan? I can't see. It's Ryan Greenspan. It's Dorito four for polar bears. And Imp oh, big Ooh. move there. I think it was yeah, Yakamak. Josh Yakamak just um, goggled uh, Greenspan in Dorito four for a. Big kill for Edmonton Impact. Oh, and it's the it's the it's the matchup of the Giants right now. And the IC is back yep. back, and that's too late. Yeah, Yakamak takes the last Polar Bears player here um, on the back line, but there is a Polar Bears player. Forgive me, in Snake One. Is that, yep. That is a nicely dug out point from Edmonton Impact. Long point, five minutes almost, but yes. that's how you see paintball is chess. Yes, and that's it went back and forth, didn't it, yep. with domination. And um, I don't know, I think with a game of edges, I really think Edmonton Impact had that in the end because of the communication. There's that lack of communication in the polar bears because of the different nationalities. Yes, that's um. true. And I remember yesterday when I was looking at them and I interviewed some of them and I was talking to their coach, uh, he did explain to me, uh, Skinny Kevin of course, did explain to me that he had some problems with the language barrier. Yes. So, and that is something that, yeah, well, if you have a team like Edmund Impact that travels all over the world, all together, friends, mm -hmm. and the communication is just much easier. Now, we must apologize to the people in Canada right now, because it's actually 3 a.m. in Canada right now. So if you're supporting Edmonton Impact, you're not getting a live feed right now because um, the live stream aren't awake yet. So we're I trying to sort that out for you. <laughs> um, and you will be able to watch this game back on replay. So we apologize for that. Um, Vision Marseille, my friends, Lionel Para, <laughs> Amona, they're really, really, probably the friendliest team here at they CPL. Uh, and I love watching them play. Yeah. And Lionel going straight up through the middle as he shot, and he shot at two of them already. Yeah. So, and hey, that, and Lionel is... is Azule on your uh, screens in Snake Corner. And of course, my good old friend Sebastien Duvivier, who is a very, oh, well, it's, I think he actually played with your dad. Yeah. So <laughs> he did. He, <laughs> he did. They've been around for some time, uh, yeah. these vision players. Um, and, uh, but, Frankfurt Syndicate, obviously, the, the strong German team as they are here, home in Bitburg, Germany, take the point. First point to Frankfurt Syndicate. Now, Syndicate, no strangers of podiums and top fours, and I think they almost made it, uh, they, they almost won one or twice in the whole series. So yes. they're no strangers to, to podiums, and they play very, very well, very consistent, very and slow. And the team in recent uh, events that they keep losing to is Breakout's Club. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> so they're becoming their nemesis team. But there's Patrick Robel in the pits, uh, the superstar of the German scene. <laughs> oh, he is. And Who doesn't know Patrick? <laughs> Um, so they won the first point. I like seeing these pits because it's, it's interesting to see how calm, how calm they are. For now. For now. For now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's good to see their faces as well for you back home because you only see them in their masks. So uh, you get to see what they look like <laughs> yes, under the, ma the man behind the mask. So back to Edmonton Impact Polar Bears. Impact on your screens. One off the yeah. break. They did lose one off the break. Polar bears. You can hear them talking better. And it's working because they've just lost Rabkov, Edmonton Impact, and looks like Carnell's just been pinched as well. He's getting a check. Impact's now doubled up. You can see on your screens they're doubling up there. And if they've lost their two width players, they're not going to live long in there unless they move. So leave out. Yeah, they're going to move now. <laughs> they got to move. <laughs> and they did it in synchronization. Yeah. Oh, it, um, it didn't pay off, unfortunately. But oh, was, and, the and one there's a penalty. One. I mean, how hard is it to live in that situation and pull it out of the bag? I, I think near on impossible. But hey, they did the right thing. They can't stay together like that. And they need to get the width to try and win the point. So Polar Bears stole that point back quite convincingly. Quick point by them. And that's why your, your name is Mr. Ryan Greenspan or Mr. Oliver Lang. <laughs> They have some big stars from, yeah. from Russia too. But not to take away anything from the other players yes, though, because I think, uh, well, hey, four are live. No, you can't win with one or two good players. You have to be all five. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, I think um, the, you know, I should say the dynasty duo, but uh, Oliver Lang's obviously not playing for dynasty this year. 
um, just having a break, but um, having them two on the squad to just develop your team is that's the experience they have. Oh, there's uh, Edmonton Impact on the screen. And of course, Dave Baines, uh, who's their coach now because uh, Bart is not here. Yes. And obviously, we were saying earlier about um, London Tigers, Richard Payne not playing. He's their back centre. So Dave Baines, the big back centre, is not really probably going to play this format because look how tiny the. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> the small TV is not really his, his bunker. He told me it's not his bunker. <laughs> so. And he almost suspected Millennium doing that on purpose so he can slay. No, just joking. Just joking. <laughs> Now on your screens now, this is Rappel for Frankfurt Syndicate. And Rappel is one of these up and coming young players in the European circuit. He's going to be the pro of the future. This is Monier matching yeah. him. Mona Monier. Now do you want to know something about uh, Mona? Uh, a fact about him? He's an, a tattoo artist. I know. <laughs> I know. And, and he's, I done, he's done many tattoos for the professional paintball player over here in Europe. <laughs> I think he actually is one of your teammates. Um, yes, yes. Uh, Yosefa Wafi for Poison Ivy is uh, currently having her arm tattooed by Muna. So, yeah, he's a talented man. But Rippel, I was just talking about Rippel, one of these up and coming young German players um, in Snake One. Got a very um, knowledgeable head for his young age very quick oh and going through the middle now can, uh, now let's see how long he can live through there and if vision knows that he's in the middle there don't think he knows so oh and getting shot a bit way to go vision and vision going straight oh but losing his back to Rito. lionel taking a walk so now it looks two on two yeah well vision vision have dorito four repel yeah repel's just been shot across field from dorito you just saw on your screen way to go vision are pulling this one out I like it. I like it. I like when Vision is uh, battling snake. it out. As we're looking on to, and I think that is, is that Duvivier? And they got him. So the point goes to Vision. Azule just... I, I think, think it's it a snake battle. One think on it one. is a snake battle. Yeah, it, it is, is a, a one. There's me thinking they've won it, but I think the... Th hope it oh! oh. Did Uzale just, yes, it was a trade. So, uh, now, Uzale's hard, hard to spot on the, on the field because he usually has a big Mohican, you can see him, but he's, yeah. he's wearing a beanie today. But he just did something mad. I would have stayed in Snake, gone down the tape, but he's come inside and able to get the shot, but obviously they've both traded. It's called a trade when you shoot each other at the same time. And that means no point. No point. Which is a shame because I thought Vision had that one. It looked like they had it. Yeah. And of course, yeah, uh, Jeremy Azoulay, uh, one of our good old friends from Vision. And uh, it's true, it is one of the friendlier teams, but hey, uh, mm. friends, in the end, doesn't work when you play paintball. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so Edmonton win. Impact on your screen. Snake Big on one. Big breaker, snake oh. two off the break. Has he been shot on his leg? On the inside of his leg? I think I think it might be an old shot, though, because the marshals would have seen that. Look at this, he's just standing up. There's no one in Snake Corner, and you can afford to come out wide in the blind and wrap. And wrap, and he is wrapping. As long as you don't go out of bounds, and he's he done enough there. He's done enough there. Big point for Cornell. I think ba David Bain said, you're just going to snake too, my love. Yeah. yeah that's where you're going. <laughs> you just no go questions there. asked, you're going yeah. there, yeah. and it's worth And you shoot everybody, and if you don't, <laughs> I'll and get you. And he's, put, and he's pushed all the way up to the top beam on the end of the snake. And that's allowed um, Impact to push Dorito's side. Well, they're in their snake, so they're dropping like flies on the other side. So that's Yakamak made a big move down the center. Oh, he got shot, put his hand on his head, and then the marshal says you're clean. Now, if you put your hand on your head, you've called yourself out. Yeah. So that's a bit controversial, but there you go. Yakamak's still alive in the center can. And I think he's called himself out because he got bounced. So there's some bounce balls out there this morning. Bouncy balls. <laughs> Well, it might be the weather because, I mean, probably the paint suppliers would have previewed not such a lovely sunshine as we do have now. Mm. So, nice point there from Edmonton Impact. I think I think we'll have to give that to Justin Cornell. <laughs> Snake two off the break, and that's how you play the blind spots on a game. And we saw, well, since they got the corner on the snake side, you could see he was so confident. He could just stay yeah. up, you know, choose his angles, yes. and surprise everybody going, poo poo, here I am. And he's only able to, I mean, oh, back to the start gate cam for Frankfurt Syndicate. I love this. Repel for straight into Ooh. Snake 2. Copying Justin Cornell. I, I'm going to give this a go. So I was just talking about Repel earlier. 
Oh, he's gonna, and, yeah, he's yeah. just got to shoot inside. He can't. Oh, he's not stayed alive, but he has taken a player with him. Oh, and there oh. comes another one getting shot. But at the same time, Vision getting shot. So it's one or two Vision players on one or two. It's all happening here on the Vision uh, Syndicate game. Yeah. As both us, the commentators, and the players on the field trying to find out what's happening right yeah. now. Wait, wait, <laughs> who's who? Who's there? <laughs> As we're looking on Vision, still having that corner snake. And yes. we see, I think they'll probably have a snake one or two in there for, for Frankfurt Syndicate. And they have that, well, uh, off back center. Yes. As Vision have better field position, but now is he going to waste it? Is he going to get shot behind his bunker or not? That's the question. As in Mona, you can see him, he's top of your screens in Snake Corner. He doesn't want to make any no. risky moves right now. And the Vision player going into Dorito 3 already. Now, is it, that, why doesn't he do the sneaky Dorito 4 move? Maybe because the other guy's no, on No, because Mona's feet. coming inside. I don't, yeah. oh, it's slippy. Yeah. Tuck your feet in, Mona, because you're, you're going to get one on the, fit, on the foot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're in. <laughs> oh, all the way in the other Dorito now. He's all the way in the other Dorito. Vision's doing all the damage to Dorito's side. Oh, he overdid it. Oh, he did overdo it. That's a shame because if you had have pulled that off, that would have been a great point for Vision Marseille. Would have. I love the way Vision are coming out all guns blazing. Well, Lionel like told it. me, and Lionel told me, I mean, they didn't have a great event in uh, the first event. No, so, they you didn't. know what? Mm. I'm going to come out blazing. And I, I think that's the right way to move. Yeah, come out fighting. Yeah. At least they try. Yeah. And I mean, then again, of course, you have that little part of luck where you should, you know, you should just mm. do the. But again, sometimes it feels like Vision lacks a little bit of discipline. If you're in Dorito 3 and nobody's shooting at you, go to Dorito 4. Yes. Why do Dorito 5? I mean, again, it's this overconfidence sometimes. I can make the move, and then when, once they get into the bunkers, then they start overplaying. It's knowing when to be confident, isn't it? Yeah. And um, like you said, they're getting excited because they are playing well against Syndicate. Um, and they are almost dominating them. But and they're you think losing they're going to win, and, and then they, they lose, lose at the last <laughs> yeah, I know, and they still lose points. It's amazing, exciting for us to commentate, I know. but very frustrating <laughs> for Vision fans back home. But obviously, very good for Syndicate, because despite this happening, they're still winning. Yeah. So, Polar Bears, Tarko Cell on the Startgate camera. And look. Big move. Ooh, Ooh a little, Ooh. little dance ring uh, around the roses, work, and, and it, it didn't work. work. It no. didn't work, that didn't work. So... It's interesting to see those those kind of breakouts to see what they do, pick those lanes. I think that uh, Tafras also does that a lot, you know, in the middle of nowhere, or um, our friend uh, Constantine Fedorov yes. loves doing that too. In the middle of nowhere, get a lane and then dedicate to it. Oh, wow. If, oh, if only I can crawl that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Cornell in Snake 2. If I crawl that, crawl that quickly, I'd still be playing. <laughs> so I'm, a, I'm, I'm like a tortoise compared to Justice Cornell. <laughs> He's like a little spider. <laughs> So he's in the center beam now for M, keeping tight. It's, it's hard to s live in there. If, if the polar bears push now to snake corner, Justin Cornell will not live in that position. And they're trying. Yeah. Trying to pull That's out. Oliver yeah. Lang. Uh, is that Oliver Lang? No, no. They are trying to pull out because they get that big move. They will clip Cornell. Cornell is doing a lot of damage for Emerson Impact. And pull up. Oh, but he's still alive in there. Well, I'm going to look, um, and the reason why the marshal's looking is a lot of balls coming in, like they're looking for the bounce shots off barricades. So that's something we have to explain to the public. You are allowed to shoot at a bunker, and then it bounces onto the player. Oh, he's not going to live now. No. Yeah. So um, polar bears have, have done what, what they needed to do to get Cornell out, but you're right, Maurice. Um, you can shoot the bunker. It's like a snooker, like a snooker shot. Yeah. <laughs> Ricochet off and shoot the players. It's hard to do, but why not give it a try? Well, once you do one of those, you're really happy. Yeah. <laughs> and once you get shot by one of those, you're not happy at no. all. No. <laughs> like, where did that come from? Yeah, yeah. Came from the other f the other field. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell did I get shot in the goggles? No one was shooting at me. Um, so, convincing sh uh, point there in the end for polar bears. However, Impact had the upper hand. They did. They were winning the point. Polar bears uh, knew what they had to do halfway through the point, and. Um, and they played it very well. They did it exactly what they needed to do to win it. Well, they did stop um, Justin Cornell from when he was in the snake, I'm, or in this, the, the big M in the snake. I think the middle one isn't the best one to do. I think he should have stayed in snake one, do the damage first, 
And that's where you get again, it's a little bit of vision there too. They get over the confidence, they go to the bunker where they're like, hey, how did I make this? Yes. And then starting to look for targets. And then I think I think that's probably what's happening right yeah, now. That's what they're discussing. I think they're probably saying, Cornell, don't, you know. I mean, he had a very confident first, when he did it the first time and came out wide. I mean, he had still that, that playing in his mind. And you can think you do it, but, you know, it, it depends on the opposition's positions on the field and what you can and cannot do. And in that game, he couldn't do the same thing. He couldn't employ the same thing because Polar Bears mixed it up a bit. Oh, oh. Oh, oh that was the that was full start for yeah, Syndicate because start. the other the other field beat. Oh, and there comes penalties. No. Yeah. yeah, penalty. He didn't start back on time for Frank for Syndicate and Vision. Look. They're kind of dazzled now. Yeah, I think... But Vision shooting another one. Let's go, Vision. Come on. This guy on the Dorito side is doing the damage, but it looks like he's not getting... Well, you must uh, remember then, Maurice. Oh, he's doing the damage because he's taken out another Cinder player. But you must remember here on Dorito's side, they have the advantage because they have coaches telling them. Snake side, you don't have a coach. So Munia is pushing now. Big move. Big move into Snake 2. And there he goes. That's another one. Not Way quite fast for an old player, uh, hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's going to hate me for saying that. Oh, he's going to hear that on the rerun, and there they go. Yeah. And that's... Benoit Power. There we go. He still has it. <laughs> and I'm glad Vision stole that point, because they deserve to win a point. They're playing much better than they have been. Um, <laughs> <I> <laughs> he's not used to this. So no. He's like, what do I have to do? I, do, do. I press the buzzer. It's okay. I throw my head around <laughs> a bit. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm clean, ref. Yeah, <laughs> I'm here. Please tell me I'm clean. Yes. <laughs> yeah, um, nice point for Vision. I'm enjoying watching them play. They're aggressive. And they deserve it because, I mean, in the end, the aggression should pay off. I mean, not blind aggression, but this went very well. And he did a lot of damage on the Dorito side. Yes. And Frank said Syndicate is like, oh, you know what, doesn't matter, we just lost one point, we'll keep calm. What's important now, and Frank Fessing will know it very well, is to still play their own game. Oh, they will. Yeah, they they will. will. They won't change. They won't <laughs> change it up for a bit. Polar Bears on your screens. There is some problems with the scoreboard, you can still hear the beeping. Um, so that's something they'll still need to sort out. Big move there for Polar Bears. I didn't think he'll get out there alive, and he did. So they have a uh, Polar Bears have the dominant bunkers right now. Edmonton Impact have Dorito too, but they don't have Snake yet. This is a, a very important point. We're just coming up to five minutes remaining. All five players alive. All ten players on the field. And all rolling their guns. Mm. So. A lot of paint in the air now. You can hear as it dro drops off the, those bunkers. And now, he, who's the first guy they're going to make a mistake? And both these teams are very disciplined, even though I think the Park Taco Versailles have a very dangerous position in the middle there, but also it's dangerous at the same time for themselves. You know, it's a good That's right. position. Oh, the first, <laughs> the first unforced errors from Edmonton Impact. Justin Cornell gets clipped. They're the mini M before the snake. So, Polar Bears. No, they're a G1 up. However, it's time not to go crazy. <laughs> Get is. another G. So Justin Rabakoff now wants to push the snake as they've lost Cornell, and he's doing so bump by bump. He's hatch actually, um, Rabakoff is looking for shots now. He's hunting for shots before he makes a big move. Um, and that's the confidence in these pros. Oh, they do. But that's what you also want to see is players trying to find solutions to, well, angle problems. Yes. Which, of course, paintball's all of a, a game about angles. So Snake Corner, um, tall enough to shoot over the top. And I envy these players. They're, um, I mean, I'm, I'm only five foot four. I have to jump. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Snake Corner should be really protecting his Snake player down the tape, but knew there was a couple of shots on a cross field, so now he's doing that. And, and, and by doing that, he's allowed his Polar Bears player to push into Snake 2. And 
Rabakov is sneaking in, but he's asking for a check on his pack. Yeah, he's been shot across field. That's a nice shooting there from uh, Polar Bears. Polar Bears dominating snake side. You can see on your screens in the snake beam and the Dorito. And um, has just pinched out the impact player in snake corner. Yep, towel's been thrown by impact. Ooh. And of course, the last player being hurt. Yes. Always getting a few extra balls in. <laughs> There's the Polar Bears camp. Now everybody looks kind of, as we're looking into Mr. Oliver Lang, the Mr. with the beard. So breakout camp, Lionel Para, the back center. Everyone's choosing snake side. And Vision break. losing one off the break, almost immediately off the break. Looks like Lionel's having issues with his paintball marker, whether it's not shooting or the paints. Or there's a jam or something. So uh, Vision are a, a player down and a gun down. Oh. And another player down. Yeah, and uh, Lionel Power is still struggling, struggling to be able to shoot. He, his gun is down in back center. And Frambert Syndicate capitalizing on that and pushing Dorito side. And Lionel won't be happy with that. I mean, he always, uh, he's one of the best shooters off the break. Normally he gets at least one off the break, at least uh, consistently. And now, of course, with no gun. Uh, and now he's stressing because he's thinking, wait, I need to get this fixed really quickly. If not, I'm going to lose a point for my team. But I don't see, well, hey, I don't see Syndicate very aggressively attacking on this. No. And I, do you know what, um, Lionel, even though his gun's down, he's doing the right thing. He's staying alive in back centre because you can't make some big moves if you know that the opposition are in back centre because they, you, you think, oh, they're going to cut down that lane. You can't go. And they're going to try and shoot him to go and they can't get him because he's in so tight trying to fix his gun. Sure. <laughs> they don't know his gun's down. So. Oh. But Syndicate is trying to understand now, they start to understand that they don't have all the, the things they need, so that not everybody's shooting at them. Mm -hmm. Oh, as we see Lionel getting... Oh, there he goes. I think he got shot on the arm. Yeah, he's out. So um, oh, if, this, if he's out, uh, he's asking for a check. Yes. Yeah. He asked for a check. Yeah. And he won't be happy with that. No, the whole point, his gun was down. Yeah. Um, but Syndicate now, big move. Big move. He's asking for a check. He, he said he got... Sh he's asking... He's, I've been shot, but I think it's a bounce, ref. It's a bounce. Yeah. Can you please check me? <laughs> yep, he's out. So a player declares they're out when they put the hand on the head. And Ain't. Syndicate won that point. After a little bit of drama for poor vision. After yeah. And they won the, you know, the, pr the point previously. And they're on the roll, so it's, it's strange that... It'd be nice to get Lionel Power up here later and ask, yeah, what ask him what happened. Yeah, ask him what happened, yeah. But I think something that's... Uh, I think having gun issues is not the best thing, especially not when you're into CPL. No. And I think at this level, you aren't allowed to have that. I mean, honestly, in, in our team in the days, if you'd have a gun problem, you'd sit up. Yeah, because you. you kind of put the onus on you. That's, yeah. your, that's your issue. And especially if it's battery problems or, or loader it's problems. Oh, if it's your battery, you're, you're sat for the whole tournament. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're a pod boy. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you're a pod yeah. boy. You're a water boy. Yeah, you're, you're water a pod boy. boy. No, you're a water you boy. You forgot your batteries. It's the basics. <laughs> I, I hope it's not that issue. I hope it's a jam. Um, and, and he'll just take out another gun at the next point. So we go back to the Impact and Polar Bears game. And where Polar Bears is leading Impact. Yes. Yeah. It's nice to have oh, big matchups. Nice so breakout on. from from Impact. In, uh, they shoot three players off the break, so that makes it a five on two. So it meant Impact. Oh, this and is a quick <laughs> point for Impact. It's going to come down now, heavy on now. Polar Bears with well, one player. <laughs> <laughs> they won't even know it yet. Ow. They're like amazed themselves. I'm surprised Polar Bears coach hasn't called the towel. Yeah, he's out, um, and they're allowing Impact to hit the buzzer. Now, that is how you do it. Three guys off the break, mm. and one immediately after that. Yeah. Uh, loving this matchup. So it's now, three if <laughs> he's clean. Yeah, it's 3-3. Three, three. 
with um, well, nearly two minutes, 30 seconds left. But again, close game, close games again, even though in this bracket, well, well, of course, between these two teams, I'd imagine. But as we're looking at the skinny Kevin, we got a little interview with him. I got to talk with him uh, just uh, before the event yesterday. So we'll have that up later yeah. to see the importance of coaching. And of course, skinny Kevin, we don't hear him a lot. You don't see him a lot, but he's the magic behind that. Skinny Kevin. Yeah, that's where we call him. Call him skinny Kevin. The oh. polar bears. And of course, Ryan Greenspan. And Vision. Sharing the pits. So two teams will share the pits on either side of the field. Yes, they do. Are we doing Millennium? Because we have these double matchups. I mean, you can't change pitch every time. <laughs> It'd be difficult. They rotate the team. As we're looking, Lionel Perra, and I hope his gun's up now. Come on, Lionel. Get at least one point back. Oh, yeah, it's working. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Um, and, and did it help? Did it work? Did it work? Nope. No. So it's working, but didn't make the kill that he wanted to no. make. But there but you go, you can't win them all. But I didn't think, but yeah, but they didn't go that wide. I think um, as we're looking onto Vision now, I think Syndicate didn't go that wide. And he was looking at that, you know, the shot between the two. Yes. There's a shot between the two cones in the center of the field that you can throw into the middle. And that's the one he picked. Oh, as we hear on, the, as we hear a said if you communicating, and he's one of those old Tonton players that joined Vision this year, you know, to give him some experience with the younger players they have, and you can hear him here communicating. Oh, no, that's not the way to go through a Dorito. I think his foot got caught there. Yeah, in the grass, I know. Yeah. Does repel on your screen, Snake One? Well, he's playing without fear, so that's good. Oh, as Vision lose the corner uh, on Snake side. As we hear, and the only one talking now, that's Seb. Yeah, that must be 03. Yeah, they're just showing snake at the moment. <laughs> now, it's very important when you communicate with your teammates to say the bunker and what they're doing. Like snake shooting infield, snake tape. And of course, this is a very big game for Vision because the other two games that you'll have to do is mm. Polar Bears and Edmonton Impact. <laughs> so this is a terrible group, a terrible group. Oh, as Vision lose another player. And that might be why Vision have decided to come out aggressively because they thought, wait, oh, we've got a really hard group yeah, here. We've got some big boys that we got to play up against this weekend. You've got last and year's series champions. Yep. You've hey. got the runners up. You've got, uh, you've got, I think you've got the top four of last year that you have to play against. And again, Vision losing a lot of players uh, every year uh, on their roster. So to the other big French teams. To the teams. other big French teams. So that doesn't help. Remember, they, they came up to the um, CPL uh, it three years ago uh, with the help of Clint Moore. Yeah, they did. Clint helped them to come back. And they've been they've stayed here long enough. And if they keep playing, you know, aggressively, they will. I mean, they have to come out and play like this against the big boys in order to win the tournament. Hey, if they beat the big boys, they win the tournament. Oh. Oh, and they're being chopped up now by Syndicate as they've pushed uh, Dorito and uh, Vision were unable to kill Repel in Snake. Uh, if you have a Snake player alive the whole game, the whole point, it's hard to win. Oh. But you know, the score doesn't reflect the game for me. I mean, Vision was, I'm um, not, they're up to par, but they're not, they're not down for one for Yeah, hey, I think they're going to come back fighting this last point and get another point on the board. Um, and they, they should. These points are very, very important um, for the underdogs in, our, in the CPL because it keeps them in the series at the end of the year. And Vision is looking to stay into the series. Yes. These guys are looking to win it. Yes. There, um, while we met, um, but, but there it happens sometimes. You just walk through to a, through a lane, a very good lane set up by polar bears. Well, but at the same time, they shot two polar bear players. Yes. As we're looking onto the polar bear, uh, is that po yeah, that's polar bear player trying to shoot. Impact have got the center can right by the 50. And I don't think Polar Bears know he's in there at the moment. 
interesting secondary move to go to that bunker. You choose that bunker and you cut off all of the fields, you know? Yeah, Just you cut off the whole of Dorito's side. And if, you, if you've if you got Dorito's side cut off, you can then afford to wrap in on the center. Well, you prevent people from going wide, mm -hmm. so that's a good that's a good idea. This again is another point. A lot of talking. If no one wins this point, it's going to probably go into overtime. But for now, uh, Admin Impact is in the driver's seat, and knowing their patience, it will get uh, beyond one minute in a minute, and um, neither team will want to throw anything away. Livell is playing Dorito 1 for uh, Emma Impact and he's been very conservative, very disciplined. That's what they need to do right now as we hit the one minute mark. And at this point nobody wants to risk it because you don't want to be down one point with only 20 or 30 seconds left on the board. Oh, no, it's one minute three, one minute two, no, now the one minute mark is coming up. So the, um, and I think the towel was thrown. Wow! By polar bears, you know, to keep because they knew they were going to lose this point, and they're like, you know what? Might as well take a minute. Yeah. Uh, uh, it'd be interesting to see what Oliver Lang's saying right yeah, now. Um, yeah. So they threw the towel. The point goes to Edmonton Impact, and they have 52 seconds to win it back. So what you'll see now. For all of you back home, he's a very an aggressive point for polar bears that'll be coming up soon. Let's see how aggressive Lionel gets now. And they oh go yeah, all the way. way. That's the way. That's what we thought they would do. Now, I'm not sure that that's going to work a lot against uh, Syndicate, but... Oh, well. And they lose Sub Vivier on the back line. They need... They have no one shooting snake side now no. for Vision. So if... Um, it won't be long until Syndicate realize this and they'll push snake side. Well, you've got the snake corner. He's trying to prevent anybody from going anywhere. But, oh, I'm getting checked out. You're and out. And there comes the penalty, probably. And yeah, there comes the penalty. It's very element. hard to p to shoot snake from the corner because it's quite blind if you if you dive in mm -hmm. inside. Oh, big move from Lionel. And... Didn't pay off. Didn't pay off. But hey. This is fun to watch. <laughs> fun to watch. But, of course, Lionel didn't know that he lost his complete, complete back line behind him. No, he didn't. So. Oh, and there we go. So aggressive game plan didn't work out because again Syndicate did not go wide. Mm -hmm. But Para Parabanoir there, the last player remaining for Vision, he had a great game on Dorito's side. He, he had a good, I think, he, man of the match for Vision. True. But Syndicate, the powerhouse that they are, convincingly nice. win another point and with it, the match. Well. And for the people at home that just missed this match, it wasn't that easy. It was very close, and honestly, I think actually Vision will be hating themselves again because, again, they threw it away themselves. Yeah, in the, the, the early parts of the game, Maurice, they were dominating. They were getting the bunkers, they were being aggressive, and you think, hey, they're winning on the point, and they threw it yeah, away. They, threw it <laughs> away. <laughs> uh, they got overexcited, a little bit reckless, um, and we, when you play a, a very strong team Ooh. like Syndicate, it's hard and to... Now let's look at this one here, 52 seconds. Let's see what Polar Bears can do. Can they do? Ah, uh, no. Of course, they were waiting for them in the middle. Yeah, so Impact have lost a player. Polar Bears have to come now with 40 seconds remaining. Houston. And uh, Impact have lost another player. Justin Rabakov. Um, and it's going to be hard for back centre to... Uh, Justin Cornell stay alive in back centre for Impact. They're crossing up right now. Oh, and oh. another one. So here we come. Oh, and now they have to they have to start pushing. Wow, big point Boom. for polar bears. And have they gone off time? Ten seconds. And <laughs> 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 we got, ladies and gentlemen, we've got ourselves a game. Yes, it's extra time here for Edmonton Impact and polar bears. If this player is alive, um, of course. <laughs> but I don't think. I mean, that's where alive. Why would a coach, if you're up four to three, send somebody through the middle, an aggressive move? I didn't get that one. I, 
I, I, I'm not sure what um, Dave Baines was thinking. Maybe he was saying go down and lock Snake Side, stop him pushing Snake Side. But it's almost like Polar Bears decided to delay down the center and throw so many balls up the middle. <laughs> no shot. one's going to live. No. Um, so I think it was just one of those coach plays where you're going to risk, yeah, let's do this because this might work because they're going to come at us. And it, unfortunately, yeah. the, the risk didn't pay off for impact in, in those circumstances. So Polar Bears win the point and they win it in 51 seconds. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not sure if we're going to have a nine second point or not. I thought under 10 seconds, if I remember correctly, we go straight into the overtime point. Um, yes, I think there, there was a discussion before. So let's see what happens. I mean, how many of those players do you think could run from the start gate to the other start gate in nine seconds without shooting anyone. <laughs> and without getting yeah, shot. without getting shot. I mean, it's quite hard to do without any gun and equipment anyway, to, to get from one end to the other in nine seconds. I say you could do it a uh, full sprint in a pair of shorts and a vest. <laughs> Six seconds, and with five cleats. seconds. Yeah, with yeah. cleats. So I'm not really sure that I would make that. So I think they'll... I think they could agree on the fact that they should just start the overtime point, but we'll wait on the ref's decision whether they're going to play those nine second points or not. So it's 10 seconds on the balls on the field, nine seconds on our screen here. And we just hear that Polar Bears have just asked for a timeout. So they are going to play the, uh, these, these, these seconds. Ten seconds. And this is a very interesting game. I thought it's going to be close, but I'm not sure it's going to be that close. I think both teams are just going to run at each other and see what happens. <laughs> it's, kind of, <laughs> it's kind of like a nightmare for the yeah. refs. A real nightmare. And the players know it. <laughs> and since the other game's over now, still, uh, I mean, of course, now it's two minutes in between points. Yes. So we're actually going to have a whole four minutes, and as you see them talking it over with uh, their coach, see Oliver and Brian asking, well, hey, what do you want us to do? Let's do this, this, and this. You, oh, and I think he, uh, the coach is getting out special tactics. So, so split screen here yeah. for you, polar bears on your right, impact on your left. And they're not doing the nine seconds. I see five minutes on the board, so they were going to go straight into the overtime point, so no nine second point. This is the one that matters. This is the one that counts. So with five minutes on the board, overtime point. And... Five on five alive. Im impacts have made snake one off the break. Snake two off the break, sorry, Cornell. There on your screen. And he's one of those dominant snake players. That's 20 seconds into this point, so please ignore the score, the timing on the on the screen. And Impact have also pushed Dorito too. So they have the more dominant bar barricades on the field. And there's not a lot of. Um, Paint coming down on back centre for Yakimak for Edmonton Impact, which is what Polar Bears is um, suffering on right now. They, they're not putting enough pressure on the back player. So Impact have more paint in the air. However, it looks like Impact, I think it's uh, Justin Rabakoff's having gun issues as well. He's got a jam, he's not able to shoot. He's doing the traditional let's just shake my loader. <laughs> Oh, sometimes it unjams it. <laughs> As we're looking onto the Idma to Justin Cornell in the snake, and he's hugging the bunker. Justin Cornell, I mean. So Rabakov is pushed to snake corner. He can't. He still can't shoot. So he's done something to make it happen. Something happen. Switch it up a bit. So impact. Have all five alive, but one gun down. No one making any bold moves right now because... And nobody oh, making mistakes. <laughs> no one making mistakes. I think at this level, as they say in tennis, an unforced error yeah. will cost you the point. So 
So Cornell hunting for shots. Oh, oh, and too much, too much, too much hunting and got clipped over the top there from Dorito 1. So for now, the advantage goes to Polo versus being more patient. Yes, um, with Emmett Impact, a player down and a gun down, they only have three guns shooting on the field. But they do have dominance on Dorito side. Oh, but getting shot, and but the Polo Bear getting shot on Dorito side now. And I've got two on the Dorito side, so can they make that move? Can they advance on the field? And remember, polar bears don't know that Emerson Impact's snake corner, uh, Justin Rabikov, has a gun down. He's just sitting there talking, talking to his teammates. There he is in his screens. So he'll talk and also do a little bit of field craft and try and fix the issue. As you're going into the three minute mark, so it's two minutes and five yep. seconds left as Justin Rabikov sliding down the next obstacle. Yeah, he's, um, he's making bumps up the field even though he can't shoot. There's a loader issue, it looks like. It may be a loader issue, yeah. He's literally telling his teammate who's shooting at him. He's just become a voice on the field. And he's going to put a few balls into the feed neck of his gun. Yeah, he's going to put the so pod on it. Just so he gives him a, a few little shots, you never know. So yeah, definitely a loader issue for Justin Rabikoff in this point. And that's a bad time to have a loader issue yeah. at a 4-4. Look, look how calm he is. He, there he is. So he's got no loader. A few, a few points. A few, a few balls and he'll reload. But he'll have to, every time he moves, he needs to take the loader with him. Because if he leaves any part of equipment on the field, he'll be eliminated. Safety equipment. Yes. So, coming down to nearly... It's 1 minute 20 on the clock, not 1 minute on your screens. And this is going to uh, finish up in a shootout if it continues like this. Still one minute left. And no one wants to make the f that mistake. No one wants to make the risk. Not with uh, Polar Bears having Snake 2 <laughs> posting up across field. <laughs> he's sitting there posting up at the two Dorito players and Emerson Impact. Oh, he's not now. So will em Emerson Impact move? Nope, they nope. won't. They're just doing long distance battling, sitting it out. And As we see from here. We yeah. miss, um, but Emmett Impact has run out of. Oh, did you see that jump over the lane? Yeah, he jumped over the lane and he did it there too. So now, oh, but there comes somebody. Oh, and nobody saw he went all the way into the snake. So wow, he big move here oh, for. Ooh. One. Two, and ooh. Ryan Greenspan was the last player remaining for Polar Bears. But 16 seconds left, so jo what's it going to happen? I think there's still one Polar Bear alive in the Justin back center Justin Rabikoff, no loader. Have about three balls a time. Ooh, no! and he does it. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, oh no. No. Oh, if only there was enough time on the clock, but Justin Rabikoff, Rabikoff, no gun throughout one the whole game. Balling. <laughs> One balling <laughs> <laughs> up the field. Wow. And that's, honestly, you can say whatever you want, but that was impressive. That was a good point to watch at the end there. Um, so, still four apiece, overtime point played. These teams are completely matched up. <laughs> so, is this going to be a shootout? I think it will be. I'm, I can't remember having seen a shootout. We haven't seen a shootout, shootout for long a long time. So let's see what the rest decide to do in this situation. Completely square on both sides. I think even the polar bears are discussing what's happening what, what, next. What, what, what do we do now? <laughs> um, well, we're not going to flip a coin, lads. Let's, uh, let's, it's, got to, it's got to end in a fight. It's got to end in a fight. <laughs> we're here, we're playing paintball. <laughs> Well, you know, it's not going to be a physical fight because if not, I know that one team's going to send out Dave Bates. So <laughs> that's the big bear. So, yeah. <laughs> so I think actually uh, this is just going to be a draw. And the point is all because there's no quarterfinals. I think the shootout is only in quarter. I think you're right. I think when it's when we're in the knockout rounds, um, yeah. um, you have to play the uh, shootout. But as we're in the preliminaries, I think they may just give the as a draw 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. So, well, in that case, uh, we can just uh, safely assume that this game is over. And we'll go on to the next game.